Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. You're watching a channel called Alpha Investments, and my name is Rudy. What we do here is we talk about the news, the things that go to zero and bamboozle you, and the things that go up. My very first video of Ravnica Remastered Collectors. An in infamy. It's an in infamy set already. So ladies and gentlemen, this is for the patron, old Matt T, all the way in Payson, Utah. You know, Utah, I've never been there, but everyone I've known who's ever lived in Utah claims they love it. You know, no humidity, you know, like Florida, but, you know, hey. So sit back, relax, as we crack through, I finally get a chance to do my first opening of the world infamous, supposed to go to zero, shock lands to a dollar, and it never happened, and man, what a time to be a part. Do we have pool tabs? Oh, we do have pool tabs, all right. What a time to be a part of Magic the ugly owing with your stepsisters and moms. What a beautiful time to be part of this stuff. So obviously we want to track things like shock lands. I've been hearing you get insane amounts. And well, all right, temple. God, those are gorgeous cards. All right, so one shot. We got to try. We, we got to shot. We got to try. Ooh, protein hulk. Nothing like a good protein hulk in the morning. All right, well, there's our mythics. And geez, holy smokes. Mythic foil, mythic carn. Oh, uh, muddle the mixture. Old school foil. Wow, that brings up memories. Wow. If, oh, well, there's a lot of. Wow. Ah, the signets. Wow, it's pretty, uh, pretty heavy. Experiment one, boy, that was a big card back in my mass box opening days. Holy moly's! So, boy, do we got a lot to talk about today, ladies and gentlemen. So, not only do I finally get to see Matt, we're, we're going for we got you know, the pool rates on serialized cards on this are. Uh, whoa, Queen of the Old Gout. Wait a minute, I didn't even know there was anime cards in this. Is that a thing? I'll put you over in a pile. I didn't even know there was anime cards at all. Tyrant, <laughs> Assemble the Legion, and Raptor. I don't know the pack order of this, so we're going to just kind of skim through these because I'm not really sure. So, as of the film in this video, these box prices are at a whopping 250 260 on TCG Player plus tax, so about 275 280 shipped to your door. Boy, that was an expensive card at one point in time. And Lord of Riots, boy. Boy, they reprint like every Ravnica card that was anything, didn't they? Uh, muddle the mixture. That was a great expensive common uncommon back in the day. Holy moly. I remember selling play sets of that for like 10 bucks, man. Jeez, that brings back some memories. So I believe besides Shocklands, um, <laughs> the Cloister, man. Boy, for Breeding Pool. There's there you go. Number two. Ah, uh, the Ghost Council. I don't know if that's still a thing. Should we track the Mythics? I don't even know if we should or should not. We have, may have already skipped a few. I'm not sure. Oh, oh, it's a Guild Oh, you're trolling me, Wizards. They always put those stupid. Oh, oh, two guild gates? Back three guild gates? Three. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Anybody? Is this a thing still? Dude, Reman? Reman. Gotcha. Dude, that was a really big deal. Like, is this not. Is this not a $10, $15? Oh, wait, wait, game piece, game pieces. I was like, wait a minute. That's like a $10, $15 uncommon, isn't it? Isn't it fun to watch Rudy not have a clue about all his whole life? Ooh, it's Rudy the Lost. And this is another one of those anime cards. I don't know if that's a thing. And backed by an anime card. I don't know if that's a thing. And what we got? Laza and a Nico Bolas! Dr wow. This is the Amon Kitty uh, Hour of Devastating Your Ex-Girlfriend print run. Okay. Whoa. Experiment 1. Great. Kranko's Command. Great. That's the two, uh, yeah, the two Goblin Pumper. Oh, man. That's some nice throwbacks there. That's what I said. I, I, you know, I think what it was is everybody... I think Wizards diluted so many of the... Ooh, Pack Rat. So many of these cards. Oh, Mrs. T. And that's the anime one, I guess. And Blazing Archon. I think so many people were so um, diluted on the amount of reprints that there's there's so many good Ravnica cards in this. Or essentially every good Ravnica card reprinted ever. But just the fact the game piece there has done so much damage. Ooh, Tyrant. You know, hey, Godless Shrine for number three there. I think people it just did so much. People can't really... Wow, three Guild Gates in a pack? I, ooh, oh, Lightning Helix. So are any uncommons, like, still, like, one, two, three, four, five dollars, like, back in the day? Or are all the Chase uncommons just completely nuked at this point? Because I'm like, I'm seeing so many good, infamous cards. Divine Visitation and the gorgeous Birdies of Paradise. <laughs> Death Rite Shaman. Anybody remember when that was a ten dollar rare? Infernal Tutor. Up oh, Guildgate. I get you. Oh, Skullcrack. Wow, Skullcrack, really? God, Old Man Rudy. Really? What's with the two Rakdos and a... Wow, that's... God, leave the two Skullcracks in a single pack? 
Dude, I used to sell those for like three bucks a pop, man. That's what's weird to me. I just don't, I guess it was intentional to kind of dilute everything with the higher, ooh, that is, wow, these are loaded packs, man. Foil steam vents, Shockley number four, and the infamous Domley, wow. That's the actual Domley from, um, was Dragon's Maze block, wasn't it? Holy smokes. <laughs> Nature's Herald, I remember that couple dollar rare. Dark Black, another Lightning Helix. Face Fetters, I remember that. And of course, Guild Gates all over the place. Hmm. Man. And I'm just, boy, this is a, yeah, the troll. I mean, I always love the troll. And the Ghost Council, infamous. Another gorgeous myth. Is that, I don't know, that might be anime. I have no idea. Pithing Needle. Ooh, that's a nice one. Lord of the Void, Foil Mythic. That's a nice one again. Again, I don't know if these are deemed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Hold on. You can get another. Wait, you can get another shock land in the middle of the pack? Is that an ancillary slot? Oh my god. All right, blow me up in the comment section. Did I miss a bunch of shock lands, everybody? I thought I'd been checking. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. You can get shock lands? Not. Whoa. Okay. I probably bamboozled. Man, I may have missed. Oh my god. There's the blood crypt again. And we got. Ah, uh, Tomik! With the anime over there. Love the shield. One of my favorite. That's Ruby's face every weekend. Split card, not even gonna read it. I hate split cards. Putrefy. And a, okay, so we gotta check. So in the middle there, they can actually hide some. That's uh that makes me go, whoa. Supreme verdict. Do you enjoy magic on a Friday night? Do you have friends that want to play magic with you? Well, come on down to Supreme Verdict. You cast one of these on a Friday night. You too will have no friends by Saturday. <laughs> Stumping ground. Rakdos, Ghostway, oh, Demir, Farsi, great uncommon. And Gilgate. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven Shocklands in box one. Oh my God. Holy. Now, again, we haven't even talked about the serialized cards in this. Apparently, the pull rates of these things for serialized cards is super easy. So I am fully expecting to get a serialized card in this video, Matt. Like, based on what everyone's told me, we, ooh, ooh, stitch in time. There we go, Blood Crypt. Um, I guess we're just gonna start a new pile. Blood Crypt, Rudy's face on a shield. We got Ghostway, light up the stage, another great gutter. And Rakdos, okay. So these Guildgate slots hiding in the back in good old Dragon's Maze fashion can also have a, a hidden little bonus shock land. That's a nice little surprise, everybody. Niv Mizzet, ah, yes. The card everybody wants to advertise and act like they care about and nobody gives two shits about. Ooh, nice Hellkite there. A little anime mythic looking thing. Another Niv Mizzet. I mean, I guess we're gonna track, I guess we're not gonna track mythics. There's so many flipping mythics, it doesn't even matter. That's two, that's, that's, th that's three mythics just in this pack. And Guild Gate over there and Drift, oh! There's a hidden, there's number two. Okay, so they, that's what we gotta be checking for. The hidden extra shock land in the middle of these packs. That seems to be the bamboozle slot. Blazing Rudy, beautiful. Distinguished over there. Rest, oh, rest in pepperonis. We gotta rest in peace. That used to be a $10 rare. Ah, meddling Rudy's face. Experiment one on your ex. And concave mayhem, oh, oh! Batopia Sprawl? $5 uncommon, right? Dude, what is going on with the, does anybody factor in the common uncommons or is every common uncommon? From modern back in the day, are they all just bulk game pieces now? Ooh, that Temple Garden's nice. Look at that nice birdie. Niv Mizzet. Wait, that's a different Niv Mizzet. I thought the Niv Mizzets were all mythic. Ah! There's different. Okay. I didn't realize there's multiple Niv Mizzies in the same uh, set. That seems definitely unuseful and confusing, but that's cool. Because what we do here is we crack cards and people show up for Rudy's silliness and because he has no idea what he's doing. Who is this idiot? Oh my god. Rest in pepperonis. A nice hallowed. So the extended, this version is only available in the collectors, right? I think this version and obviously serialized are only in the collectors. God, how is this? Dude, foil, old school, like sprawls. These things were 10 20 $30, man, years ago. That's crazy. And I know you guys are probably just laughing your asses off in the comments. Just look at this moron. Actually thinking game pieces in the common unsummon slot are actually, ooh, Aurelia, example, whoa, didn't know you were in here, young lady. That's a pretty, that's probably a $10, $20 card. Life from the Loom? Swords? Wow. Okay, it, oh, Guildgate. 
Yeah. This is kind of, I was watching some other of these box openings. I watched like one or two before I filmed this, so I don't look like a complete Timmy. Rudy or Timmy, I know. God, God, let's try it again. One, two, three, four, already at five. Beautiful tyrant there. Nice mystery. Mrs. Oh, Mrs. K is in here. Ghost Kai is still the queen, by far. Ghost Kai is still the best. I, you, you ain't gonna change my mind. Ghost Kaya, conspiracy, still by far, foil mythic, alternate art is still the best Kaya in the history of Kayas. Blind, ooh, Massacre Girl in the anime with the needle inside of your face. If Gideon, Black Blade Mythic. Good foil skull crack and jeez. Are any swords? So these I'm so confused. Old man Rudy like remembers all these modern era cards from like 10 years ago. <laughs> Bori Bori Goros! I think that was uh, Dragon's Maze Stomping Ground. Oh, and a Temple Garden! A double Shockland pack. That's, um... So technically... Oh, God, wait. Okay, there's so many, like, Skull Cracks and Sprawls in these packs. There's no way those Common Uncommons are worth anything anymore. So the days, like, when I did mass box openings, ladies and gentlemen... Oh, my God, the money from the Common Uncommon, the foil slot, was massive. That used to be the big thing. Ooh, Prime Speaker, Mrs. Z. Nobody asked for that. That's playful. Steam Vents, everybody. Oh, hello. Uh, Dark Fucking Confident. This used to be a $50 Mythic. Pepperidge Farm remembers when this was a $50 Mythic. With a $10 debt. Wow. <laughs> the stone. Holy smokes. Um... Boy, has the world changed. See, these are the moments where you kind of sit back and I'm like, holy cow. The fact that I was even aware... Ooh, Spark Double. That, oh, look at that Chromatic Lantern. Jeez. Blazing. Blazing again. Beautiful research. That was an expensive common uncommon. These, these blue spells, I'm telling you all... Tell If anybody below... I know you got to dig through my comment section of all the muck. But can somebody at least acknowledge that you remember... Look, oh my god. Persistent, like, does anybody remember how big of a deal these common, uncommon blue spells were back in the modern era, like, 10 years ago? Anybody? Like, these were such, these were such, like, LGSs would be having those in their display cases. Like, the business and transactional revenue that LGSs would gain from cards like that was such a big deal. Ooh, beautiful stage. Ral Zarek. So we got Planeswalkers from every flipping Ravnica set. Rakdos Skewer. Oh! Another Dragon's Maze card. And a lot of Guild Gates in there. That's it. How many did we do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So eight Shockies in box number two. So I would be... The odds are most likely we're going to get at least one serialized card on this case opening in the video. And if that is the case, and we do open at least one per case, that's going to be very interesting data to talk about. Um, again, ooh, Master Girl, very nice. And a breeding pool, here we go. Number one. Uh, forgotten God Priest, I remember her. We got Cloak and Glazer, and these stick as well. And that is it. Um, it's going to be, because if you, some people told me, dude, some patrons bought a case of, tw a Master Case of 24 from me. Ooh, Divine. And, what watery grave with extended. I had some page. Whoa, I can't even fucking talk. Liliana Dredden. Wow, I didn't know Miss General Lily was in this. Foil Mythic Lily. Okay. I wasn't even aware of that. The Guildgate. Double Demir Guildgates. Different versions. So I had multiple patrons who did buy the Master Case for me at release on this. When I was selling. I think I sold Master. What did I sell Master Cases for? If you're a patron, tell me what I sold Master Cases for. Was it $2.29 a box? Shipped? Or was I, did I bamboozle you at $500 a box? Domri. Another, wow. Domri and Pithing Needle back to back. There's a nice turnabout. And, pu oh, great uncommon Putrefy. Hall Hallowed Fountain hiding in the middle. Number three right there. Muddling the mixture. God, like, dude, this might be one of the best sets for common uncommon that old man Rudy remembers. Probably since, like, a Modern Horizons or something. Ooh, Legion's War Boss. That is a pretty spicy little card. Rudy the Lost for the anime. Uh, Bori Ori Goros, no one cares. Rudy's face on a shield. Guild Gates, Vampires, Guild... Golly. So is it possible to get all three of those in Shocklands? Can you have a pack with, like, four Shocklands? Like, in the front and have all those Guild Gates of Shockies? Another Hallowed. Oh, ooh, hello. Um, I was not aware Guardian Project 
That is quite stunning. Is that an anime one? Oh my god. Anybody Ramnica OG City of Guild with the giant never-ending story bird that Rudy rode to middle school when he failed. Wow. That was such a big deal back in the day. Perilous Skewer. <laughs> Man. Oh my god, nobody cares! Oh my god, magic is so dead. It's hilarious. Dang, man. Can you imagine if they ever throttle back on their... Ooh, look at that needle. Can you guys imagine... Whoa! Crypt gas in the and a pack rat. Dude, these packs are fucking loaded! Oh my god! What is the expected value on this set? Or are all these cards just worthless game people? Like, I don't understand. Beautiful thing. Oh my god. First two cards, double overgrown. Like, this is nuts! Enter the infant. Um, Sphinx fan, I remember you. <laughs> oh my god, this pack. Two fucking shock lands. And then mythic. And mythic. And then skull crack. Faiths. Signets. Putrefy. So you start off with this pack had two shocks and two mythics in a single pack. No wonder this thing didn't crash. The only thing that would have crashed this is just overprinting it. Ha <laughs> ha Krenko coming in all rawr. Cindervine, split card I won't read. Lightning Helix. And, God, the gates. Gates, gates, gates. Another two, two Lightning Helixes in a pack. Can any, does anybody ever stop to think what would happen if Hasbro would ever slow down the reprint machine? Copy enchantment. Ooh, Cloudstone Curio. Ooh, that brings back some memories. Math. Ooh, Infernal Tur Tutor. And a research. Condemn. Another research. Like, that's all I'm thinking about right now. It's like, what would happen if Wizards actually slowed down the reprints and some of these cards, like, reinflated even half or a third of their values when they were at the peaks? Tomik! God, and Prime Speaker. So back-to-back -back animes, I guess? With a Spark Double. We got Vampire, Far Seek, Yield Gates. And another Far, two Far Seeks. So, we're about in there with, where are we at, box three? What was this at? So, Matt, I, I don't know, Matt, if this is considered a good bot. Crypt guy, wow, okay. Tyrant. Legion War Boss, phenomenal. Masker Girl, fantastic. Totally lost. And again, back-to-back -back duplicate. Ooh, Chromatic Lantern. So, I guess this is not a thing anymore, right? This is not a $10 rare, that's just bulk also. Enough. So, again, Matt, I appreciate you being a patron. I don't know if this is considered a good video or just is just normal right now. Haha, <laughs> protein shake on a Wednesday after Taco Tuesday. Really gorgeous, funny carb. Oh, Pack Rat in the fancy version with the Hallowed Fountain. Totally lost. Turnabout. Gilgate. That's it. Box four already. Um, wow. Okay. This is a wild set, man. Like, I don't understand why people... Am I missing something? The only thing I gotta be missing... Is all these cards, like every card I've been making a big deal about, has got to be has got to be bolt game piece now. That has to be what's going on. Because this set has ooh, Infernal Tutor. Nice way to start with Rudy the Loss. Stretch Stitch in Time, Split Card I Won't Read, Loman, Gilgate, Signet. Okay, this is our like our first week pack, right? It has to be. I think what it has to be the fact that modern's dead. No one's playing. Ooh, Guardian Project. Nice start. And a Steam Vents. Here we go. Wait, three, so seven, God, seven shocks again. So here we go, so, Kranko, Cloud Curio Mythic, Gutter, ooh, Coil, that used to be, uh, that was a great conspiracy reprint. Hmm. That's, I, it's so weird. Because the people who are complaining on that, I'm assuming it's because the cards have no value in the stores. Ah! <laughs> okay! Well, I thought we would get one. And Matt, there you go. You got Rudy, the Raising Garbage Dumpster. Um, cereal bore. Holy shit. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a serialized, not right in the first. Again, I don't know if this is just, even if this serialized card's only like one to 200 bucks. Like, that's, you know, that pays for the whole box. Like, okay, serialized card already. Fucking boom. Troll. Troll. God, such a modern. Uh, Quasi Duplicado Rudy's Balls. Far Seek. Cranko's Command. Because that's what I keep saying. If you get one serialized card, on average, per six box case. So essentially, one of your boxes is covered every time from that. Okay, so think about this for a second. If one... Ooh, God, look at these pools. I gotta price check these, because there's no way all these cards have value. Because then, you would just endlessly open boxes. 
and just make in, it's infinite money glitch. There's no way these cards must have value anymore. That's the only thing I can figure. Niv Mizzy. Maze is in. Ah, oh, there's a meme. Flipping. That's a wait, that's a mythic. Blood sheep. Whoa! Holy uh anybody? Dude, shattering spree? That's a that was a big deal, man. Compulsive. Gosh, shattering spree. Rem remand. Dude, these cards, man, are fucking crazy. Ah yeah, Supreme Verdict, how to make everybody hate you. Protein shake, amazing. Void slime, Gideon Black Blade with the mythic again. Quicken and a bunch of guild gates that no one cares about. Wow. So if you every six boxes, hold on, let's run the numbers here. So if we're averaging seven to eight shocks per box, okay. Okay, number two. If we average seven to eight shocks, okay. Oh, rhythm of the wild. I remember that one. Oh wait, that used to be a rare, didn't it? Did they downshift that. So if if one okay, if you get one serialized card per box or per case, so the serialized card pays for one collector box. And then the shock lands alone in a case, oh, oh there's a non-serialized and a cryptic, should pay for another, god, wait, look at the four lands for those. So that the shock land should pay for two more boxes, right? So if you have a seven to eight times six boxes, so you should get what? 40 to 50 shock lands per case. So that alone pays for two boxes, just the shock lands, okay? So three of your six boxes are covered by a serialized card in shock lands. Am I missing something here? Mastery, formation. Oh, 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 watery grave, hide in the middle there. That's fucking crazy, dude. No wonder these, like, what kind of people thought this was going to go to, like, $99? Oh, yeah, the crazy boar. Crypt, yeah, amazing, master, oh, oh, wait a minute. Is that bent? Is that a line across the card? Does anybody see that? Um, no, maybe it's just a print line, okay. Debt, call, guild gate. So essentially, I'm looking at, if you're doing a large scale of this product, or if you, could, you can't get it anymore, there's no restock or out of print. So on, on Ravnica Collectors, every case of six, three of the six boxes are paid for with shocks and a serialized card. Tyrant, Temple Garden, and Beautiful Aura, and Assembly, Guild Gates, nothing, nothing. Okay, so this was our worst one. So this box only, I was wrong, this one only had four shock lands. Oh, did I, wait, I lost a pack. I lost the pack. I slid it over. It was right underneath my hairy hand. Sorry, hold on a second. Oh, look at that lantern. Life from the loom. A blood Jesus. There's, there's our fifth shock land. And holy cow. So that was the, the lowest shock land box at five. Box number five out of six. All right. So we've had seven, seven, eight shock lands and five shock lands. So we're still averaging about seven. Hmm. And of course, we've already hit a serialized card in the first couple boxes. Death Rite, of course. Blood Crypt, here we go, number one. Dude, that's so many. Whoa! Mr. B is in this? Mr. Bruvac? I didn't know that fucking guy was even the set. Karn, Jesus. <laughs> Shockland and two Mythics for a single pack. Jeez. What a dumpster fire set this is. Like, what happened with this thing? How on earth did this thing get. Ooh, look at that core calling. Breeding pool, number two for the next box. Beautiful tutor. Split card we're not going to look at. And Demir. Like, what happened? I think I think this must have been... Because people were pre-ordering this November, December. That was like the peak of anger, I think. So that had to be what was going on. You know? Think about that. The peak of everything going wrong in Magic, right after Amazon and dumps, was around November for pre-orders. This had to be like the peak of the bear market at the bottom. Enter the infinite. Gorgeous. Temple Garden. Oh, in a Sacred Foundry. Double Shockland pack. Very nice. Compulsive. So I think that's what led to it. The timing of the pre-orders and stores was right at the bottom when everything was awful last year. Sphinx's Revelation. Jeez. Do you realize how big of a deal this card used to be? Oh my god. If you know, you know. Eh, seal the Guild pack. Guardian Project. I think it's our first time I pulled the Guardian Project in this video. Holy shit. I didn't even know that was in the set. Utopia Sprawl. God, old man Rudy. Oh my god. Dude, if they... If these cards, if this was 10 years ago, how much money this would be. Ooh, Lord of the Void. And a Krenko. Bori. Farseek Foil. Totally lost. Guildgate. And nothing in that one. <sighs> wow. 
Tell you what, folks, it's such a wild thing. To, ooh, Karn's Bastion there. Very nice there. With a Domri coming in hot. And boy, what a time to be in magic. Muddle the mixture, a guild gate, and nothing. You know, what a confusing. Like, imagine being brand new to magic right now and going through this blazing. We got Tomeek again. Imagine being new to magic, everybody. And imagine not realizing all the history and drama in Magic 30. Imagine, like, being exposed to magic because, like, you know, I don't know, you know, Fallout or Lord of the Rings or something. And you have no idea. Like, you watch a box over this channel. I'm sorry for watching this channel. Ooh, Temple Garden. Very nice. Oh, and a stomping back-to-back -back double shocky. Niv... <laughs> Two shock lands. A niv Mizzet, A Kaya. Lightning Helix. A Drift. Like, two Drifts. Dude, these packs are fucking crazy. Like, just imagine just starting out in Magic and not having a clue what you're walking into right now. And how crazy, Divine. Another Chromatic Lantern. Mr. T with the fresh haircut. One of the best Planeswalkers ever. Lightning Helix, Turnabout. Gil oh, up, oh, Godless. Like, this is... Oh, anybody? Sprawl? Alright, everybody. We are down. Like I said, Matt, I, I don't know if this is considered really good. or They're all like this. Watery Gray. Ooh, this is going to be a... This is a spicy box. Mrs. Sarah. Blind Obedience to your wife's boyfriend. Guildgate. And Guildgate. Like I said, I don't know if this is normal. Because according to a lot of the patron messages from last month, people were opening cases and everybody was getting serialized cards like this. Niv Mizzies, Beautiful Phoenix. We got the Ghost Way, Demir. Double, double, double Demir. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're back to eight Shocklands. So again, we are still averaging the seven Shocklands. We've already gotten a serialized card. And ladies and gentlemen, we're down to the last box of this amazing Ravnik Dog Remastered Collector Box opening. See, I kind of like doing it in this order. So if we wait to do the box openings, you know, I don't have any boxes for sale. I'm not doing anything with it. It's just fun to take these and just kind of, you know, it's just fun. I, I, think this is, I think this is a good thing to kind of do it a little later after the market settles. Raul Zarek, copy. Another, wow, well, really? Another Raul Zarek. And nothing there. Because at the very beginning, every time we do these videos, like the prices and the bot, things swing so quickly. You get the Timmies that get real confused. Ooh, Rudy said it's five dollars. It's only bulk dollar. You, you get the morons on. Ooh, Mister B coming in hot. You get that, but you know now if we wait a little bit, the markets are. Oh, God, the thugs, man. That was a great uncommon. You know, there's not as much volatility. The prices are pretty established at this point. Usually, post release within ninety days, you really get the true bracers. Hallowed Fountain, number one. You know, we don't really have the swings. Ooh, 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 ooh. Overgrown Tomb. I almost missed that bad boy back there. We're already at two shocks. We just started the first pack. So what's the most amount of shock lands you can get in a box? God, holy sh How is Dark Confidant not important anymore? It gives power creep? Rudy's a creep? Bamboo? Like, how is it? Like a foil shooting star retro goof? Like, dude, this should be like a $50 plus mythic. Like, that's crazy, the damage that's been done to this, the game pieces, man. That is insane. Like, it's like it's like the Tarmogoy thing, or... Like, whatever happened to Tarmi and Liliana and, like, Snapcaster and... Pack Rat, great card. Tyrant. Cranko's Rudy's face. Oh, 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 Bottle Cloister. I always like that. It's a fun... Oh, per <laughs> Persistent Partition. Such a good blue common, man. And a bunch of Gilgates. So, that is... This is my first experience, everybody. Matt, thanks for being a very kind patron. Hope you enjoyed the video. Another shaman. Another master girl. Uh, again, I don't know. Like, I feel like everyone... Oh, 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 breeding pool. I feel like everyone in the comment section is just going to say, Rudy, they're all like this. This is a normal box opening. You got the normal average of seven shock lands a box. You got your one serialized per case, Tudor. Another blood crypt. That's being staged. So maybe, maybe this is just part of the box openings now. Maybe these, they're all like this. We got five shocks in half of a box. Godly. Beautiful. But oh my god, if you get a serialized bird, that's gotta be awesome as hell. Mastery. Guildgate. Come on. Oh, oh, petitioners again. Oh man. So I know the shock lands. I looked online. Serialized shocks. Ooh, look at that birds. God, dude, I would love, dude, if we if we can get a patron pool, a serialized birdies. There's there's a godless. Dude, these ghosts, these ghosts used to be pretty expensive, too. And Guildgate to Guildgate. Man. Holy smokes, man. Dude, I, was, I, bet, I bet the birds... I bet a serialized birds... And, whew, there's a Blood Crypt. Gorgeous. 
And the gorgeous Mrs. A, the gorgeous angel there. That's got to be something. Life from the Loom, Krenko's Command, Shattering Spree, amazing uncommon. Like that, I, I, like the Shockland's got to be like what, two to four hundred for a serialized card. But the, like a serialized Birds has to be super expensive. Oh my God, double Shockland! Oh, triple Shockland pack! That's our first triple Shockland pack. Come on, four, four. Oh, triple Shock in the close, dude. I, so what's the most you can get? Can you get four? Uh, cards bashing, gorgeous Lantern. And Faith's Guildgate. Oh, man. Ended one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine! Nine Shockies. And guess what, folks? To wrap up this video, as of the film of this video, most Shocklands are averaging $10 a piece. And some of the fancy ones in, in Extended Arts and Shooting Stars are still $15 to $20 a Shockland. Unfucking believable. Can you believe that? With these bull rates, the demand for Shocklands is still above $10 on average. Some are pushing $15.20 still. That is insane. Dude, the market was so wrong. Everybody was like, Shocklands, I ain't going to buy until we go to fucking $2. Dude, this is incredible. This, I, I may like this one. Which one I'm trying to think about like this one better. Or if I like Lord of the Ring things better. I don't know. Um, I don't know, man. I think I may like this better than the Lord of the Rings. All those Lord of the Ring case openings we did. Those were a ton of fun with the foils and the posters. And the, but this thing is loaded. I didn't realize there was an anime slot. I didn't realize. I, thought, I heard about people saying the Shocklands. Dude, this is one case of Shocklands. From one case. That is so unbelievable. Alright, folks. And yes, gorgeous, gorgeous serialized card, everybody. Absolutely beautiful. Thanks for watching, everybody. As always, hope you guys are having a beautiful day out there. And uh, I've been wanting to do uh, a couple. We got, uh, I think I got one or two more Ravnica case openings we'll do over the next few weeks. We'll kind of spread them out now. Kind of bounce around. We got some um, Weiss openings. Um, I don't know if I already published the last Sorcery Box opening. And then we'll go back to Magic, do some more Carlo Manor. Um, let's see here. And then we got, let's see, Weiss. I think maybe a Pokemon. And yeah. Uh, just a friendly reminder, everybody out there watching, what else we have coming up here? So we are heading to the end of February. We got the Rudy Mega Fallout Commanders and possibly Collector Sale coming up here in the next week or so. No, I don't do pre-orders way in advance. I don't take people's money. I don't hold on to your money and get interest. I don't do all that dumb shit. So as we approach there, we're going to be having the, uh, Fallout Commander deck sets, which, uh, if you want more than one set, you are going to get insane pricing. And ain't nobody going to touch that pricing. Um, let's see, what else is going on here? Yeah, the collectors are going to be crazy. Uh, I'm working on that dirty deal thing and whether or not I should move forward to get a couple hundred Fallout collectors to run a special sale. But then if I take that deal, i got to bundle like a Fallout collectors with a Carlo of Manor collectors. Or I'm just going to scrap the sale. That's still up in the air if we're just going to skip it and move on. Or if I'm going to just bundle it with a other box that the distributor is going to force me to buy their bad stuff to get more of the good. I'm not sure. I did something similar um, with Boulder's Gate, and honestly, it did work out really, really well. The patrons were happy that I at least offered it, even though most of them didn't buy it. But just having that choice, a lot of people like that. And of course, getting stuck with a lot of Boulder's Gate actually worked out pretty good, because Boulder's Gate set boxes and obviously Boulder's Gate uh, draft actually kind of came back already and are hitting towards all-time highs. Uh, Boulder's Gate collectors are still kind of uh, still not at the all-time highs, but still holding in pretty good. So other than that, keep in mind, folks, we're also... About, what are we at? Maybe 45 days? We got the uh, all the sorcery beta. My final, stupid final supply. Hopefully gets out of customs and uh, makes it to me. And then that'll be it for that. And then uh, we'll be revealing the promo card for sorcery and everything coming up there. And yes, we're going to be having a lot of conversation on the new Pokemon with their cut print runs. And these dumbasses on the internet who are fire selling Pokemon boxes at like 99 and 109 and stuff. And I'm like, you guys are idiots. Dude, with the 30% print run or 40, was it 35, 38, 33? Let's just call it 30. 30% print run cut. Dude, these morons fire selling. Oh, the Pokemon's dead. What is here? Oh, it's going to be so much fun. So we got a lot of exciting things coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys are enjoying everything. Um, let's see here. I think that's it. Remember, folks, have a beautiful day out there. Make sure you spend your life with good family and friends that help you all go in a good direction. Life's too short to be angry all the time. You guys have a great day.